Dispose of this annoyance at once. Hey everybody, this is Dead. Got Cave here. I'm here to fill my contractually obligated time to spend with Dead this week. And this is Inculinati. Inculinati? Inc I have no fucking idea how to say this goddamn game name. I, I guess Inculinati uh, is what I guess. <laughs> Took you three and tries. I know, because that's a weird fucking name. It's a cool sounding name. Well, cool looking name, because we still aren't sure how it sounds. <laughs> yeah. See, this is a. I say new. It's been in early access for the last year. Uh, but the official version 1.0 is being released uh, next Thursday, February 22nd. Oh, uh, time of recording next Thursday. Uh, and yeah. Uh, just. I was literally just scrolling through, like, new game releases, found this, and was like, yeah, sure, let's fucking. Let's fucking see if they'll give this to us and we can fucking try something out. And we did. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just going to jump into the game proper and just kind of show you what it is. Uh, I've, I'm, a, I'm a couple hours in. I started a journey, uh, which you can see through this it's three stars. There's basically three journey lengths, five, six, and seven uh, acts. What kind of game is this? It is a 2D strategy puzzle, I think. So I'll just, I'll just get into it. Yeah, so here we have... Uh, here we have like a map. Uh, this is this effectively s sets up what an act is. We started over here, uh, where like the little weird long finger is over the. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the kids can't tell where I'm selecting things. It does kind of have an issue of like giving you information. Yeah, no kidding. So, are you not allowed to go for the treasure chest anymore? Uh, no, because no, because I went for the chapel. Okay. Yeah, I needed to reduce the boredom of my animals. <laughs> Which let's get into it. So this is yeah basic setup. Uh, so it is going to be my side, which I'm red, versus blue. Uh, this is a this is a beast battle, as it says. Um, oh, so this is Halo. <laughs> oh yeah, let's get into it. This was the main thing that I was that sold me on this game was the look of it. This game looks very. This looks like those ancient like manuscripts. Yeah, that it's is, like, oh, this is what a rabbit looks like and shit like that. Yeah, that was the intention behind it. They wanted to, like, very much evoke that style in everything, and right down to the fucking the fact that you're fighting on manuscript paper. You know what I? You know what I hate about those ancient manuscripts? Was that how interpretive they were with their art style? Yeah, because they're the only reference we have for a lot of historical fighting styles. So there are a lot of arguments because. Well, the image looks like this. Well, the text says it's supposed to be like this. And as as a person who practices HEMA, fuck. <laughs> well, alrighty then. Uh, yeah, so this is the basic of... Okay, well, you have all these different units. I have here, uh, I have here uh, two foxes, two rabbits, and a donkey. Uh, hello. You have Sir Volpes, Clement, Frank, Jean, and Burban. I like Borderban. Okay, and yeah, so yeah, this this is the game. It's you are you're dropped down into an area, like a little play field, largely two dimensional, with a an, an objective. In this case, this is a beast battle, so we're just trying to kill everything that's blue. And you do it with the abilities you see down there. Uh, this is just moving around. You can see the uh, archways are uh, archways are the distance you can move. If you're green, if the archway's green, you're able to move there and still do stuff. If the if archway it's black, if you move there, you can't do stuff. Uh, no, if it's black, you can't move there. Oh, because there's shit there. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. If it's yellow, you can move there, and then you immediately na they immediately start napping, which is their thing of hey, this unit's exhausted; they can't act until next round. Oh, that's adorable. Uh, yeah, and so you can see the uh, so you see the little like row of numbers on the side. Yeah, yeah I was that, curious. Is that a dice roll or something? Uh, that is the damage you're doing. Oh! Do you have control of that? Yes. Yeah, I selected it. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, they're caught in tar, so it stopped their movement or something. Uh, no, that's ink. If you la if you stay if you end your if you end the chapter, which is what they call rounds on ink, then you collect that ink, which then can be used uh, in beast battles. It's used for a health bonus. Okay. So I my my question was uh, the a question I wanted to ask is. Can you, like, knock over that fire pot or something? Why does it have health? Uh, it does have health. It explodes. Uh, dealing okay. five damage to anything within three spaces, which is, uh, like... Which is basically the, uh... 
the like purple shield the entire on the top thing. row. Yeah. Yeah, so this is a hair. I huck my babies at people. What? Oh my god, that's nightmarish! I love it! <laughs> oh no, Sir Vulpus! Yeah, so let's... Let's move him onto the ink so we can get that, and then... Um... Let's give... Yeah, let's so give Vulpus... What, what, is, what is, like, the donkey? Like, the donkey's a bard. I can tell... Okay. So I could tell, like, the rabbit was, like, some kind of, like, thrower, or I thought he was a slinger. Apparently he throws his babies. Uh, I could see you have two archers up top as well. Yeah, and so... I assume they have better range than the one who throws his babies? Um, yeah, a little bit better range, but uh, the one who throws babies has, like, it's an AoE effect with static damage. Mm. Yeah, and so this is what the donkey does. And I want to say, this is the only way they give out information with, uh... With like controller because it's been playing on, I fucking hate it. It is such a is fucking it it's such on a keyboard. I I'm not 100 percent sure actually. I haven't actually been playing it with keyboard. I've only been playing it with like, with like mouse. Oh, sorry, with a controller. Mm. Uh, which, uh, no, it isn't. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like you see up here, you have uh, these things. This is the this is the tooltip option, which you can hit. I guess Q to, like turned off, turned on. And then whatever you're hovering over, it gives you that information. Oh, that is very cluttered. Yeah, and if you want to scroll, guess what? Hey, you scroll the you scroll the uh, left hand side with the R key, and you scroll the right hand side with the T key. Oh no, that's nasty. Yeah, and so there's so like there's not a whole lot of ways that can give out like really good information like that. And oh, okay, but switching from S keyboard really fucks you up a little bit. But yeah, so with the donkey, his things is mainly um. Motivating allies and... Um, farting the pipe, apparently. Yeah, farting the pipe is how he gives enemies headaches. Which, headaches... Um, may, like, limit the action economy of enemies where they can either move or act, not both. Oh. Yeah, but they can also grant motivation for his enemy... Uh, for his allies. Uh, where they can... Uh, basically gives them, like, a dash. Okay. Yeah, and... The hoof is for pushing. You can like kick things, and it will actually push them. Uh, this, a big part of the, a big part of like this, uh, not necessarily the meta, but like the uh, strategy for some of this is like, um, is like environment control. Like say blowing up that fire pot, or I assume those barrels also have an effect if they break. Um, it's not so much if they break, so much as if they if you move through them. Like with a push, you typically move something one space. If you try to push mm -hmm. them through something, it, it like, bas basically, so say, say Sir Vulpus down there. Say he wanted mm -hmm. to push Stumper. Okay. Uh, instead of pushing him one space, uh, because Hugo, the barrel, and Grouchy are there, he would be pushed four spaces to behind Grouchy. Oh. And so you can kind of line it up, and if, they, and if any ally, if any unit goes off the edge, whether or not there's an edge underneath them, they die instantly. Oh, can you push the barrel? Uh, you can't push the barrel. Oh, that's really interesting. Yeah, and so let's actually just uh, do a big old AOE thing here. I mean, yeah, you're going to kill Hugo no matter what. Yeah, that's the other thing. With, uh, the, with like the AOE stuff, uh, it only... If you're, if you're affecting multiple things, both uh, both like damage tracks move at the same time. So it's, so it's a lot more of a timing game there. Mm-hmm. And actually, I can only deal. I can only deal. I can't. I can't blow up that fucking uh, barrel yet. But I can't oh, so barrels can blow up. No, I, I said sorry. The urn up there. Okay. Yeah, because that would hurt Clement. Uh, no, it would hurt Fartrick. It wouldn't. It wouldn't. Well, I thought you. I, I, I said. I, th I, th I think it's three. Let me. We can actually just double check that. Uh, so. Does five damage uh, to units of possession near. So within three fields, which I believe is a, which is like one, two, three. Okay, okay, that's what you meant by three. It's okay. It's the diameter, not the radius. Yeah. <laughs> we play a lot of D and D together. Well, and the number of times that like, I, like I have been confused by it's got a ten foot diameter. Man, that's huge. <laughs> I always feel stupid. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Let's shoot this guy. Rippy. 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 
Okay, so yeah, so there's that's the thing that happened. So um, each different type of unit has different um, like passives they can do. Mm-hmm. Do uh, with the with the foxes. Anytime they attack and deal damage, they steal ink. <gasps> oh. The rabbits, uh, whenever they end their turn, they start praying. Which praying gives you a halo, and then also mm-hmm. makes you be able to be unpushable. And it also I mean, bumps they're your, obviously Catholic, right? Yeah, and it also bumps your accuracy, which gives you, uh, like... Which I think is... I think the accuracy thing, it makes it uh, easier for you to... Um, easier for you to, like, so hit he, those high damage marks. Is Jean a hare, then? Jean is a hare. Okay, okay. I noticed that they were bigger than the archers, so... Yeah, Jean is a hare. It could throw puppies up to four fields away, causing small explosions. Uh, you can also devour a puppy, which grants health and motivation. That is dark as hell. That's hairs, man. I'm not saying it's not realistic. I'm just saying it's dark. Yeah, hairs ain't nothing to fuck with. Yeah, so let's throw one of our babies down there. Just fuck those oh, nerds. They've got a headache. Yep, but I was already right. We have Volpus and Frank were already right in front of Stump. Stump so wasn't really doing anything. Mm-hmm. But now I got two dudes in a row. Mm-hmm. Good old Spearman. I love nerds. that it showed the death mark. Yeah. But it was like, there's... It's like, they're guaranteed to die, so... <laughs> yeah, it's great. It Like, like th- that part of this game, I think, is probably my favorite part of it. Just, it's a very... It's, oh, it's, this guy is boned. <laughs> yeah, he's fucked. Yeah, like, this game has some issues that I'm just like, eh, giving information out is not particularly great in this, but I do appreciate some of the personality in it. Like, some of it, some of it's there, especially in, like, You the... got lucky that wasn't a good strategy. You <laughs> mean lining yourselves up so that he could vaporize you? No, you didn't have a good strategy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that's the, ki- that's the guy I'm playing as up top, Looney. It looks just like you. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, so uh, those are all the units that I have right now. Um, I got the two units I don't have currently in my roster is a as a, a wolf, uh, sorry, a, a dog with a sword and a fox with a sword. Mm. And yeah, so every time you meet one of those things, you get prestige and gold. Um, prestige is used for, I believe, when you like complete a journey, it or like yeah, complete a journey, it will like bank, and then you can use that to like unlock new. Master ability, more powerful like, units, like more powerful unit, more powerful units, and more like tiny abilities, which okay. tinies. We'll get into what those are. And then gold, you can just buy gold on. You, you can just like buy things as part of the uh, adventure. Like you'll run into occasional places like a, this is a shop. Yeah, and you buy it on the Runescape marketplace. It's fine. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I remember when that was actually a potential job. It was just farming gold in Runescape. Yeah. <sighs> And so this is part of the journey where, uh, like, this part of the journey, you're basically trying to defeat different, um, like, Incunati masters in order to get to fighting Death, who is, like, the best master of them all. Incunati. It's obviously, like, a play on the Illuminati. Yeah, absolutely. But it's just, it's such a, it's such a weird combination of syllables. Yeah. Inc- Incunati. Yes, sir. The master forgot to say that sometimes you'll run into elite beast battles. One type, tiny versus beast. You already know. Now another variant of elite combat awaits. Tiny versus beast layer. These battles are harder, but if you win, you'll get a new hand action. New hand action? Count me in! Remember! You can collect a maximum of 12 beasts and 9 hand actions. If you reach the limit, you can always exchange old beasts and hand actions for new ones. If you do it at the store, you'll have to pay for them. Anyway, I better get back to the par- I mean, back to work. Only 12 beasts and 9 hand actions? Outrageous! Yeah, so, uh... Well, actually, what do you uh, think, I am a peasant? Yeah, we'll actually be able to get into it with this. Uh, this is a... This is a different type of battle where we have a tiny. Uh, tinies are... You. They're, they are a reflection of the character you're playing as. So, outside of this drawing in the book that we're currently playing in is that weird fucking monster. Hmm. Yeah, you can also see um, the... He looks like a sad goblin. Yeah. You can also see um, Apocalypse type. So, after a number of rounds... Fire? The... 
Uh, yeah, after a number of rounds, the uh, game will just go, hey, you're taking too long, let's fucking speed this up. So, round six, they're going to burn everybody to death. Uh, they're going to start burning everyone to death at the edges. Ah, uh, ooh, interesting. Yeah, so everything, has a, so everything has a clock every, on it. Every one to three chapters and every one to two chapters? Uh, yes, so every one to three chapters, um, this is a Glade event, which is a random thing that I guess just happens. And then this one is Ink Rain, which it just, which Ink Rain, it, uh, those like black spots in the field, it puts more of those out there every every couple so chapters. I noticed in the last one, there was like, you could, you got, like, you it was out of 12 ink from both sides? Yes. Uh, how it was, yeah, that was a What beast. happens if you reach the maximum? Uh, you get a health boost. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but that's specifically in um, ink, that's specifically in beast battles. Uh, with battles where you have a tiny, your ink is how you generate units. Okay. Yes, it's a beast layer. Uh, they went over this kind of during the uh, during the surprisingly lengthy and in depth tutorial that I still haven't finished. <laughs> oh, I like okay. Uh, game devs, no one likes tutorials. So here's the thing. <laughs> it, it, so. I say tutorial. It was like a fighting game tutorial where you went in and it gave, and it introduced like things mechanic by mechanic and then had you do a thing to show you knew how to use them before moving on to the next thing. Oh, that's and actually it, the best way to do it. And it was optional. That is the best way to handle it. Yeah, like, like, you, like you saw on the... Let people like me go and try the main game and then get frustrated and be like, fine, I'll go do your goddamn tutorial. Yeah, you saw on the home screen where it was like Academy, Continue Journey. The Academy was like where you had to... Where, the Academy was where they recommended you start. Okay. Yes, yeah, so a beast layer. It generates dudes. You can never have more than five out at a time, and you got to fucking kill it. So you have to kill the layer. Uh, yes. Uh, to win the battle against beast layer, you must defeat all enemies and destroy the beast enemy layer. Okay. Yeah. And so this is my tiny. His name is Looney, because I generate because I literally just that was the name they gave me. And I have eighteen ink to work with in terms of uh, collecting, in terms of, like generating dudes. Mm-hmm. So let's throw out a swordsman. Can your dudes collect ink for you too? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, throw a spearman up here so it's not just the fucking archer. Everybody's taking a nap. Yeah, because they have summoning sickness. And then let's throw another archer down here. Sorry, another, I mean another spearman down here. And yeah, so then all I have left is the hand actions. Um, you see down on the bottom of the screen there, the uh, like, like the finger going this way, finger going that way, the bag of ink. Where you can slot, uh, I'm assuming like the finger going this way or that way is slide this character that way or this way. Yes. And, we, and, yeah, and uh, when it is a tiny's turn, they can do all of their hand actions once each. Okay. But yeah, I have no particular reason to, actually, let's move this spearman out well, here. Well, I mean, like, you could also move the fox to, uh, the one on the top, the archer on the top row to collect that ink, couldn't you? Uh, yes, I could. But I also already had him on the ink. Well, but I was talking about the archer fox. I already, I already used my, uh, I already used my hand to move that guy that way, so I couldn't. Uh... But yeah, I can also just uh, because of the thing, because the uh, master build I got, just grab all the ink in that space. Uh, and now, so you could summon a new spearman up top or something. Yeah, let's make a donkey. Fuck it. Donkey! Donkey. I'm making waffles. And that'll be my turn. <laughs> you can only move so he far. He was so excited, and then it was like, <laughs> nap time. Oh, I'm tired. Can I have some pudding, boss? What are the clothing chest things? Uh, the clothing chest things. Those are obstacles for, um, like, mo for sh like shoving things and for archery. You can't shoot through those. Okay. But you can uh, shoot uh, this fucking exploding barrel. Yeah, and it also goes um, it also goes like turn by turn. So uh, so I go, enemies go, I go, enemies go, and whoever ends the round, the other person goes first next round. Uh, so let's fuck this dude up. There we go. Oh, he ate it.
Uh, yeah, let's send him up here so we can get somebody right next to the thing next turn. Oh, and actually, I can give motivation to my boys. So he'll be able to sprint and then do some, something. Which, fuck. Oh, let's just show this exploding thing closer to the monster lair. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, why not? Yep, and then... Not much else doing here. <laughs> just, what happened? Uh, I fell asleep and then lightning struck the thing I was fighting. <laughs> so, did you intend to do that or did that just happen? I think that just happened. That's awesome. Yeah, sometimes random shit will just kind of happen in this. Hey, this hey don't be stuff. rude. Ooh, I can kill him. Oh yeah, also With if you are standing behind... the majority of your attacks. Yeah, also if you are standing behind an enemy, you get backstab damage. <laughs> Nice, nice. Gives you a reason to go up and down all them. <laughs> yeah. He just happily runs forward to try and... Oh, crap. Yeah, he, he has like a... They got AOE. Yeah, he has like a cleave thing. Damn. Uh, well. I guess what, bud? Only does five damage to everything around it, so... So my boy that will survive and be able to go in and kill off the fucking beast layer. Yeah. Just all, all of his attacks destroy the beast slayer. All right, now all I gotta do is uh, kill that, kill this last fucker. It's a shame you can't just jump from level to level. Uh, no, but I can shoot and stab from level to level with uh, like spearmen and uh, archers. Oh, the ass! Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, and don't Spearman have, like, a, oh, if he moves to the yellow one, he won't be able to do anything else. That's right. Yeah. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm good there. <laughs> <laughs> I am just waiting for a lightning bolt to hit your dudes. It might be... <laughs> Okay, so I, I believe it is a, uh, a yeah. So for every le for every ten drops of ink, the player has the end of a chapter. Before collecting the ink, the enemy is a tiny beast layer or their strongest enemy takes two damage up to a maximum of ten. Okay. Yes, yeah, so that's what it is. That is a master ability that I have. This is a tiny ability that I have where I can just that's fuck a useful dudes up. one too. Yeah, and that's kind of that's kind of the direction I've been going. Like I've been playing a lot of foxes. I've been playing a lot of just like stealing ink and ink manipulation in this. Mm hmm. I mean, it seems like a powerful route to go. Yeah. This game isn't particularly like deep in terms of like mechanics or anything like that, but it is a so far, yeah, so far. But it is all right, and I also for full disclosure, I am playing on easy. Uh, this well, this is my as first. I, as journey. I like to say, if it lets you enjoy the story, then play however you want. <laughs> I just figured, you know, I'm bad at strategy games. This is my first time playing it. I'll start a journey on easy and see where it goes from there. Yeah, I fully expect I move up to normal. I'm just going to get fucking stomped. Yeah, so on journeys, um, between things, your um, your tiny gains health back, and then the downwards arrow on everyone, that is that animal's boredom. Uh, the cost to draw one of those guys is increased by is increased one to one based on their boredom. So if I want to play again, mm -hmm. that fox spearman is going to cost me eight to summon. That donkey bard is going to cost me nine. But then I can like swap dudes out. Um, I can go to chapels and remove things. If I do a beast battle, the the boredom also goes down. Ooh, and I get a new hand action. Mass oh, awakening. Oh fucking hell, that's great. Draw a barrel. Or and draw a cauldron. That's the exploding things. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna go with mass awakening. <laughs> I, I think those were all pretty good. <laughs> yeah, those are all pretty all right. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, so then I'll just. Let's see what's in the shop. Oh, uh, yeah, so you can see uh, right there, one of those options is like blacked out or read it out. I, really? don't, ha I don't have enough um, prestige in order to actually unlock and to actually d decide on that option. You look kind of shady. I won't buy a thing. Show me what you got. Yeah, show me what you got. I can just go in and buy stuff, or I can gain some prestige and just say, yo, fuck the shop. This place is weird. 
But I'll buy shit. So yeah, we can get new units here, um, as well as new hand actions. Spear-wielding dog. Yep, uh, bow-wielding bow dog. Bow-wielding dog. Bishop, Bishop cat. cat. Bishop cat's kind of kind of fucking cool. So with Bishop cat, um, because it's all you know, it's all you know, like old timey fucking text. It's very religious. Uh huh. So the Bishop cat, if an enemy attacks a cat, if an enemy attacks a Bishop cat, they immediately become heretics. <laughs> and the bishop cat gets bonus damage when attacking heretics. That's hilarious. Just an army of bishop cats. Yeah, then you got um mighty dog and sir snail who can kill anything in one hit. Damn. Just straight up I I see a bell which I'm going to guess is like a single awakening. <laughs> yep. Yep. Single he awakening. Just got the better version of that. Yep. Uh, blessing just gave a friendly beast to hell to halos. Uh, or draw chest. So I'm gonna get the snail. And I assume the arrow down reduces boredom for one creature. Um, actually, oh everyone. Awesome. Then also heal up a bit. Uh, and I'll and that will be that. So then we have uh, the scriptorium and the alehouse, which uh, here you'll permanently increase starting health, and with that one you will start increase the starting amount of living ink, which living ink is just kind of what they call. Uh, what they draw with here. I want the ink. Mm -hmm. uh, do I want the, actually? Do I want the ink? You've already reduced your boredom. You're almost at full health. Yeah, I'll grab the ink. Alrighty, now it's time for an Ink Illuminati duel. I'll be fighting another guy. This guy, Godfrey, who was the guy who played in the tutorial. Greetings. Though I may seem snarly as an examiner, I assure you I am flawless. Nice to meet you. Master. And by the way, Master looks like Yoda. Mm-hmm. And Looney, the guy I'm playing as, I believe is the son of Master. That's awesome. Master has asked me, as his utter superior in the area of proctoring, to honor you by personally administering your exam. I don't know if I even deserve such an honor. Probably That's the not. That's answer. <laughs> Jackass! Kick his ass! But at Beat least you'll know who to look ground. up to on your next journey. Beat him into the ground. Oh, let's swap. Drop him. six snails on his ass. Uh, I am going to cut out the ar cut out the archer and go with a. Uh... Yeah. Wait, no. I, mm -hmm. I would have dropped the swordsman. Uh, swordsman's swordsman's a decent cheap unit. I mean, yeah, it is very cheap. Okay, what the fuck is this one? Uh, sleep. Oh, take force one person to nap. That's awesome. Oh, and I actually I already have them all. So I, all right, cool. I haven't had this many uh, hand abilities. Mm. So let's do this, and then we'll call it. Yeah, that. Okay. So gate introduction. I've never actually seen one of these before. Gates are unpushable, ob uh, unpushable elements of the battlefield that protect against attacks coming from the same level. They can be destroyed. The color of the gate indicates which army it belongs to, only beasts of the same color as the gate can walk through it. That's racist. <laughs> you can push an opponent against your gate, and they will bounce off of it, take six damage, and if they're still alive, return to the field where they came from. Wow, that's... Oh, that's really potent. Fucking six, dude. He doesn't have any gates! That's so unfair! Add... He might be able to drop gates, I don't know. Oh, yeah, so... This is the thing that I haven't actually spent a lot of time looking at. As you as you're doing these uh, like tiny battles, uh, you it like starts writing out the story as you're progressing through it. And I have not read a single one of them because it doesn't focus on them. It only focuses on what's down here. Well, let me go read it. I want to read it. <laughs> In an unfamiliar meadow where two towers once stood, a legendary duel between between two Inculinati was about to begin. No matter what way you say it, it sounds wrong. I know, right? And you have to, like, I have to work to pronounce it, too. Yeah. And also, Meadow. Well, at least they did the towers. <laughs> they did do the towers. Yeah, let's fucking bring out a snail. We have 20 starting, so might as well. And then let's bring out... The only other thing you can afford. <laughs> yep. Burgundy. That's the name of your snail. 
That's what steals the fucking ink. And let's sew in a spearman. Fuck it. <laughs> You have two donkeys that start off with this time. Okay. Yeah, I do. Oh, and I could, if I wanted to, awaken that entire top row and just go. Why awaken the top row? Uh, because then I'd be able to awaken three as opposed to two. Oh, that's true. Do it. <laughs> start with an even more unfair advantage. <laughs> oh, yeah, and because of uh, another thing I have... Um, this ability over here, this hand one. Um, whenever I use a hand action on a friendly beast, I give them a halo. Nice. Nice. Okay, and then let's also uh, move the spearman up a little bit so we can get a bit more, get a bit further with movement. And that is it for my tiny's turn. Yeah, just dirty. No, just the noises every time. Just, yeah, I was laughing at that because I thought they were cute. Uh, yeah, let's have you, let me stay where you are right now. Ooh, or use my donkey to make you go faster. That's what I was about to say. Motivate him first. Can you double motivate? I don't know, but I'm in range, so I'm going to just go. Yeah. And he's got double hand powers on him, so... Ah, piss. Aw. <laughs> That's still most of his health. I only, got the, I only got the second best damaging option. And let's just move you up. Yeah, part of this is, or part of the game, like, the flow of it at least doesn't go super well just because it's got, it's got a lot that's going on. That's a waste of your time. It can't get through it. Yeah. You've got a very dangerous enemy right behind you who's about to stab you in the back. Nah, I fucked up there. I should have just, oh. I should just, I should have just gone for the fucking, uh, tiny. Like the tiny, like the battle ends when I think the tiny. I think the from what I remember, the battle ends when I beat the tiny. Oh, you can stab from below. That's awesome. Archer, uh, sorry, uh, spearman can because they have reach. Yeah, I know. That's really cool. I wonder if it's actually like telling the story as it's happening or. Wait, is Ooh. the snail like? Could you slide the snail and then? Have it take a normal move so that it's not as hindered by its slowness. Or motivate it. <laughs> hey, Slowpoke! Go eat that bastard! Oh, he just. Oh, Bert, uh, dude just fucking uh, cashed in his turn just to get more ink. Well, he had almost nothing. Oh my god, that's horrifying. I love it. Insta kill and moves you forward to space. Oh, that's horrifying. I adore it. I wonder if that would work on the like I doubt it'll like let you insta kill the tiny. I that think it, I think it does. OP. If it does, that's broken as fuck. So I'll just keep I'll just keep moving folks forward. Move myself onto this ink thing, ink space to kick it up. And I'll be done there. Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, the lightning is so funny. Yes, yeah, so he'll get to go first. Yeah, that's <laughs> just flicked your snail. That's his primary, uh, like, uh, ink ability or like ability, just to, like just to eat a dude. I'm sorry, just to just to beat a, just to like deal five damage instantly. And then here's another fun thing the snail can do. Oh. <laughs> oh, I love the snail. The snail, the snail is really good. The snail is great. I hope he doesn't die. Well, let's motivate the spearman. And have that spearman come down and fucking hose dudes. Oh, wait, actually. 
get behind him so you get back snap? No, I was thinking push him closer to the edge so we can just so can eventually just shove him off. Oh, that would be hilarious. Do but that. That takes that would take a bit too long. He can just move himself back. So I'm gonna just stab him for a third of his health with a basic unit. A quarter. Well, it was a third of what he had because he was like 14. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I'll just leave that there. And then swordsman forward. I am the brave fox knight. What, am I gonna get to do anything? Probably not. I also have kind of, I also like in, like through the tutorial, kind of fuck myself sometimes where I'll be like, I'm going to move myself behind the tiny and backstab him. And then that tiny just pushes me off the edge. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. I forgot about that. Just four damage because I have so much fucking ink. I feel so bad for him. If he, if he somehow. Especially with how cocky he was. If he somehow lives, I'm killing him before my turn starts. Ha! <laughs> just threw your guy back. And then what? Moved. What? What? Why? That is a that is a dumb move, my friend. <laughs> that was cheating. You have no <laughs> honor. You did it to yourself. Yeah, you you fucked up, buddy. You fucked up, buddy. So, would you like to read the story now in full? Uh, yep. It is. I it, think some of it got cut off. Yep. It start. Yep. It kept. It kept going and just. Move to new pages so we cannot ever go back and read the old one. Oh, that sucks. I guess you have to read it round to round if you're actually interested in it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I think it's fair that the slug was bored. He, nothing mattered to him. Yeah, so let's grab some, up some new talents. Uh, these are like uh, the things up there where, that let, do the lightning and the... Like your lightning bolt and anointed hand. Yeah. A random enemy beast will turn into a heretic at the beginning of each chapter. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's go. Oh, can you slide enemies or only allies? I can slide enemies. That's not bad, though. Yeah, I'll just, I'll, yeah, new ink, fuck it. Um, let's do a quicker awakening. And, you know, the spearman. I mean, you can have up to nine. I officially declare the exam has been passed with great aplomb. All of my all my intentional mistakes were utilized as expected. Why did I make them? Because otherwise, of course, you would never have passed. And if you didn't pass, there would be no post-exam feast. Ah, man after my own heart. All right, with that, we move on to the next act. This is Act Three, and I think we'll call it there for right now. This looks like a very interesting game. Yeah, I'm worried about how it'll be in the long term because this is about because like with this. We're about two hours in. And how much of it is, like, how much of it is the tutorial? How much of it is their, like, like, how much of it is this intended as a, like, online, like, online versus thing? How much of it is, uh, like, what is the replayability of a journey? Like, this, like, this, I mean, you're it, already starting off with the base of their multiple paths you can take. Uh huh. But like those multiple paths are. Hey, do you want more health or more prestige? Like, well, I yeah. But then you you get you got challenge runs as an option. You've got you've got like, oh, I just want to see what I could have gotten out of this other option, uh, this other pathway. All um, yeah. From what I saw, all paths went the exact same way. Well, from up there, sure the paths ended, but there looked like there were four different routes you could take. That would have led. That would have led to the same fights. Like I think, like from what I saw, from what I saw, like the map of the journey and everything, the individual like things seem to be, seem to be like, hey, do you want this or this before you go into the same fight you'll go into if you had to chose the other one? But we'll see. Uh, this feels like a game that would be a lot better in terms of just like being a, like playability on like a Switch, which I think it is coming out on. I was actually going to ask if it was because. If it comes out on the Switch, I might get this game. Because <laughs> this seems like a toilet game for me. Yeah, uh, let me... And, like, just so you guys know, that doesn't mean I think it's trash. That means I'll play it while I'm sitting around. And where do you sit around a lot? The toilet. It's, it, it's called sitting on the toilet. 
Yeah, so... Just, just rolling through this stuff, trying to, trying to find, like, a full release thing. But uh, from the looks of it, yeah, it looks like PS4, PS5, win, uh, Steam, obviously, uh, and the Xboxes. Yeah. Let me actually just check their their Twitter, see if that is a... Uh... And that was an uh, at not being released on, released on the Switch. Because I don't want to buy a Steam Deck. Those cost a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, Includati 1.0 is coming out, uh, net, coming out, like I said, February 22nd on the Xboxes, the Playstations, the PCs, and the Switch. Okay, great. Yeah, so be sure to check that out. Uh, you'll be able to find a review up on the site in a couple days after I spend some more time with it. Uh, but yeah, till then, thanks, Cave. I was happy to be here. That was really interesting to watch. Yeah, alrighty, and we'll see y'all next time. Goodbye, have a wonderful time. Excuse me while I whip this out.